Hello, I'm David Harrison from Vanderbilt University, and today I was asked to give a talk on the topic of is hypertension a bone marrow disease? So this is kind of a novel uh, concept. Uh, we've been interested in the role of the kidney and the uh, vasculature of the blood vessels and uh, the brain in hypertension for many years. But in the last 15 years or so, it's been shown by many laboratories that immune cells, cells of uh, both the innate and adaptive immune system infiltrate our kidneys and our blood vessels and produce very powerful mediators that alter uh, vascular uh, kidney and brain function and promote damage and, uh, and dysfunction in these tissues and, and this raises blood pressure. And uh, one of the things that's interesting is that these cells, cells like monocytes and macrophages, dendritic cells, uh, T cells and B cells, uh, all derive all to, or initially from the bone marrow. Some mature uh, elsewhere, but they're bone marrow derived cells. And um, so the question is, are there influences in hypertension that uh, promote the uh, activation of these cells in the bone marrow. We know that uh, the bone marrow releases these cells constitutively, so we always have circulating immune cells in our bloodstream. Uh, and uh, so one possibility is that uh, the, the peripheral tissues are just activated to take up these cells in, in hypertension and related diseases. But another possibility is that uh, things like sympathetic outflow or excessive salt or perhaps other cytokines or chemokines that are common to the hypertensive milieu uh, cause the bone marrow to release more of these cells. And, and today I presented some um, preliminary data from our own work and some published data to suggest that in fact uh, there does appear to be a role of bone marrow activation in the, uh, in the release of these cells and, and in their uh, trafficking uh, to and from uh, peripheral tissues. And I think this is an important topic because uh, we don't really know uh, what regulates the bone marrow in a disease like hypertension. We don't know if this is unique to high blood pressure. And there may be therapeutic uh, opportunities. It might be possible that some of the drugs that we currently have available or, uh, or other drugs uh, would would uh, modulate the uh, collection of these cells in the bone marrow, would uh, modulate their egress or their release from the bone marrow, and uh, perhaps prevent end organ damage and uh, elevation of blood pressure.